set more RAM to Minecraft 1.19.1. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. But first, before we jump into actually adding the RAM, we need to talk about two things. One, how much RAM your computer has, and two, how much RAM you actually need to dedicate to Minecraft. So minimize the launcher here, and we want to see how much RAM your computer has. To do that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in System Information. You have the System Information app here. Open this up, and in here, you are going to look for Installed Physical Memory. This is how much RAM your computer has. In our case, that's 64 gigabytes for me. For you, it's probably going to be more. It's probably going to be less. Most likely, it will be less. Most gaming computers these days come with 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have a content creation PC, so it's way more than that, but nevertheless, 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM is what most have. Some gaming PCs will even have 8 gigabytes of RAM. So whatever it is, just take note because you can never add more than half of this amount to Minecraft without causing some issues. Truthfully, you should never add more than 10 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft, even the most strenuous mod packs don't require more than 10 gigabytes of RAM, but you should also never add more than half of your RAM. So for me, that would be 32 gigabytes would be the max. If you had 16 gigabytes of RAM, it would be eight. If you had eight gigabytes of RAM, it would be four, right? So it just depends. Half of that is the max you ever want to add. But how much should you add? Vanilla Minecraft, truthfully, will run perfectly fine off of two gigabytes of RAM. I personally like to bump it to four gigabytes of RAM. So that means for Vanilla Minecraft, two to four gigabytes is fine. If you're playing modded Minecraft, and you have less than 20 mods, four gigabytes of RAM is going to be fine there as well. As far as super modded Minecraft, right? So you're talking like 20 to 100 mods, probably up that to about six gigabytes. And then once you cross over, especially 150 mods, eight gigabytes of RAM is going to give you the best sort of setup to prevent lag, right? You're not gonna have as much lag. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, you can probably run a 200 mod mod pack on six gigs of RAM, but it's going to be more laggy. You're gonna have to turn your render distance down, things like that. So again, let's run through this. And these have popped up on the screen. So for vanilla Minecraft, two gigabytes is enough. Four gigabytes is overkill. That's what I would recommend is max for vanilla Minecraft. For less than 20 mods, four gigabytes is fine. Up to 100 to 150 mods, six gigabytes of RAM will do you well. And over 150 mods, I recommend going up to eight gigabytes. Some packs like the really old FTB mod packs that have 300 mods in them can require 10 gigabytes of RAM, but I've never seen Minecraft use more than 10 gigabytes of RAM for even the most strenuous mod packs. Now let's though, now that you know how much RAM you should actually add to Minecraft, let's close out of this and let's open up the Minecraft launcher where we can actually add the RAM. Now, to do this, it's going to be the same for mod packs, Forge, Optifine, Fabric, doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's launching through this Minecraft launcher here, click on Installations. Then you want to hover over the profile that you're going to add more RAM to. That could be a Forge profile, or in our case, it could just be this latest release profile. It's all done the same way. Just want to make sure you're hovering over the profile you're going to use and play Minecraft on. Then go ahead and click the three arrows on the right-hand side and click on Edit. That's going to open up the installation editor here where you want to click on more options and then scroll down. At the very bottom, you have JVM arguments and at the very front of that text box, you have XMX 2G. 2G stands for two gigabytes and that's the amount of RAM that we have dedicated to Minecraft. So XMX 2G here means there's two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. If we wanted to up this, it's been on Minecraft, really no more than four gigabytes is needed here. We could change this to XMX 4G, exactly like that. If you wanted to up it to eight, you change the eight. If you wanted to be crazy, up it to 10, you could do that, just 10 G, that's gonna be 10 gigabytes. But for vanilla Minecraft here, we're just gonna do 4G. Once you've got that there, click save in the bottom right, and then you can go ahead and play like you normally one, right? Come here, click play. Minecraft's going to open up. How do you see the RAM you have in Minecraft though from like the game, right? When we get into a single player, when we get into a multiplayer world, how do you see the RAM you're using in game and how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft while in game? So once we're in game here, we can actually see our RAM in game pretty easily. Just hit the F3 button on your keyboard or FN and F3, depending on the kind of computer you have. And then in the top right up here, we can actually see memory. That's the active usage we're using. As you can see, about two gigabytes of RAM is what's actively being used, and four gigabytes of RAM is how much we have dedicated, or 4,096 megabytes is the amount of RAM actually dedicated to Minecraft. It is worth noting that if you add more RAM, Minecraft can use it, and that's why if you add four gigs to vanilla Minecraft, you'll hover around two gigabytes of memory usage. Oddly enough, in this same world, if we lower this to two gigabytes, it would hover around one to 1.5 gigabytes of RAM because Minecraft's gonna use that RAM if you give it to it, right? So keep that in mind. But nevertheless, that is how you can add more RAM to Minecraft and then check in the top right up here how much RAM is actually being used and all of that stuff. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We're more than happy to help you out. Is a metro in this world? That's really, really cool. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown. Subscribe for more incredible Minecraft videos every single day of the week. And I'm out, peace.